morning, everybody. Happy Monday. I just wanted to say all of Henry's videos are absolutely gorgeous, but today I was watching it and it's just the colors were so magnificent. Um, and I don't know if he's mentioned or not, but on YouTube, he has all of his time lapse photography, I think, at Avoja Studios. So not Avoja Wellness, but Avoja Studios. Um, and they're just they're gorgeous. So let's go ahead and begin with our medical qigong practice we're working on the golden eight opening up feet are hip width shoulder width apart allowing ourselves to come into the space taking a moment to just breathe Allowing the air to enter and exit through the nose. Tip of the tongue is touching the roof of the mouth. Maybe checking in with the bottoms of the feet, trying to relax them. Softening the knees. Relaxing the low back. Maybe letting the tailbone drop just a little bit. Relaxing the shoulders. Allowing the very top of the head to reach up into the sky. Creating just a bit of space in the cervical spine. And we're going to start tapping. About three to four finger breaths beneath the belly button. We're using our right hand so we can open up the left side of the body. I'm going to try to mirror you today. Working up the midline. Connecting the mind with the tapping. Allowing yourself to feel the reverberations, the vibrations. Caused by the tapping. The tapping helps us check in with the body, checking in with the channels. And wiping out anything you don't need or want, letting it go back into the earth. Once again, settling into the space. Noticing any new sensations. And then opening up the right side. Traveling up the midline. Noticing any areas that might be a little extra tender or sore. Wiping out anything you don't need or want. Letting it go back into the earth. And widening the stance. And we scoot over just a little bit. Opening up the channels in the lower half of the body. Tapping the inner thigh and then up at the hip. 
As you do so, you can really relax the shoulders, relaxing the elbows, relaxing the wrists. And then continuing on, tapping down the inner aspects of the legs to wherever it's comfortable for you. If you like, you can come all the way down to just above the inside of the ankle. Coming to the outside, the lateral aspect of the leg. Coming back on up, reaching the hips and the glutes, sliding that left foot a little closer to the right, maintaining hip width, shoulder width distance. And then continuing on up to just underneath the rib cage, the lower back area, wherever it's comfortable for you to get to. We're starting to wake up the kidneys, waking up that kidney energy, bringing some extra blood and chi movement to the low back. Before then, placing the palms at the low back, circling down the side and up the spine. We do this for about nine times before then resting the palms at the low back, trying to relax the shoulders as you do so, and then closing the eyes. Here, we're just taking a few moments to inhale through the nose, guiding the breath in the chi to the low back, allowing it to fill up with energy. Exhaling, allowing that energy to flow to wherever it's needed within the body. We're inhaling, imagining the breath in the chi, entering through the nose, traveling down into the torso, meeting with the palms at the lower back. Exhaling, just allowing that breath and energy to flow to wherever it's needed. Inhaling and exhaling at your own pace. As slowly and as deeply as is comfortable for you. We don't want to be straining in this practice. We would like to stay as relaxed as possible. And we're gently opening the eyes, letting the arms come back down to the side and closing by bringing that left foot to the right. Working on our lung and large intestine exercise, opening up hip width, shoulder width distance. Feet are parallel. Reach for happiness. Inhaling as we gather the chi. Exhaling, guiding the chi down to the lower dantian. Inhaling up to the breastbone. Exhaling, palms face the earth, fingers interlaced. Inhaling, reaching up into the sky, coming up onto the toes if you like. Exhaling, in, and then out, coming back to the earth. Inhaling, and exhaling. In and out, inhaling and exhaling, in and out. Starting to move at your own pace, working with the breath. Maybe you want to go a little faster or a little slower, depending on what your breath capacity is.
trying to keep the breath as smooth as possible, trying to keep the movements as smooth as possible. Getting ready to close. Working on our second exercise, the archer exercise for the heart and small intestine. A little wider than shoulder width, hip width apart. Inhaling, sinking at the knees, the left hand is on the outside. Exhaling, sweeping the arm that left arm out to the left. Inhaling, guiding both hands back to the center. Exhaling, pulling back with the left, extending with the right. Inhaling, coming back to center. Exhaling, gazing at the tip of the middle finger. Inhaling, gazing at the inner wrist. Allowing yourself to flow from side to side. Working with your own breath. Relaxing into the movement. If the mind starts wandering away, just gently bring it back. And getting ready to finish up. And closing. Opening for our spleen and stomach exercise. Between heaven and earth, feet are parallel. Inhaling. And exhaling. In. And then the left hand travels up, the right hand down. Exhaling, bringing both hands back together at the breastbone. Inhaling. And exhaling. In. And out. Inhaling. And exhaling. In. And out. Start working at your own pace. Allowing yourself to sink into the exercise.
once again, if the mind starts wandering off, trying to chew on other issues, just let it know that we can work on those things later. Now we're giving it a bit of a rest. And all that your mind needs to do is focus on the breath and stay with the exercise. Being ready to close. Bring that left foot back to the right. Opening up for our Sanjiao exercise, our triple burner exercise. Turn and look back. Please be gentle with your joints. Meaning, as we're twisting, please don't put yourself into pain. We're inhaling, exhaling, allowing the palms to go flat against the earth. Hands are about four to six inches, sorry, two to six inches away from the hip. We're inhaling as we turn to the left, our head continuing, and then our eyes continuing. Exhaling as we release the eyes, releasing the head, and then releasing the torso. Inhaling now to the right, torso, head, eyes. Releasing the eyes, head, and torso. Continuing on, letting the breath dictate the pace. Allowing the breath and the movement to harmonize.
getting ready to close. And then beginning our liver and gallbladder exercise, twist and release. Opening up a little wider than hip width, shoulder width apart, can you feel good? Taking the hands, wrapping the forefinger and thumb around the thigh, thumbs point to the outside. And inhaling as we turn to the left, allowing that right shoulder to elevate, gazing over that right shoulder. Exhaling as we sink back to the center. Inhaling as we turn to the right. Exhaling as we sink back to the center. Continuing on at your own pace. Allowing just a moment here at the height of the exercise before sweeping back to the center. Allowing yourself to really enjoy that moment of the twist. And then allowing yourself maybe a moment to enjoy that release and coming back to the center. And allowing yourself to flow from side to side. And getting ready to finish up. Closing left to right. Opening up for our sixth exercise today. Our kidney and urinary bladder exercise. Bend for health. Inhaling as we gather around the lower Dantian. Exhaling fully into the low back and the kidneys. Inhaling, opening up the throat and the chest. Exhaling, bending forward, keeping the legs relatively straight. Inhaling up. Glancing back once again, releasing the hands, exhaling forward, allowing that mental connection between the middle finger, the tip of the middle finger, and the space between the second and third toes, about a third of the way into the foot. Taking an extra inhale and exhale. And then inhaling on up, allowing one vertebra to stack upon the next. Inhaling. Exhaling. In. And out. Mm 
Inhaling. And then exhaling. Taking that extra inhale. And exhale. Inhaling back to standing. And continuing at your own pace. And getting ready to finish up. Closing. And getting ready to retain and keep all that wonderful energy that you cultivated over the past half hour. Keep your feet as close together as you can. Rubbing the palms, transferring just a bit of that energy to the palms, and then directing it to the lower Dantian. We're circling up the right and down the left. I'm not mirroring you here. I'm also circling up my right and down my left. We're starting to gather that energy, gathering it to the lower Dantian. Once we've done nine circles, we're then traveling in the opposite direction, up the left and down the right. We're concentrating that energy, allowing the mind's intention to strengthen that connection. And once you've done your nine circles, go ahead and rest the palms of the lower dantian. Three to four finger breaths beneath the belly button. We're going to close our eyes, inhaling through the nose, gathering the breath and the chi down to the lower Dantian. And then as we exhale, allowing that energy to settle and store so that we may use it throughout the rest of the day. Inhaling, guiding the breath in the chi to the lower dantian. And exhaling, allowing it to settle and store so that you may use it throughout the rest of your day.
Thank you, thank you so very much. I really do appreciate each and every one of you for showing up and taking the time to practice with Henry and I. And um, Henry, please answer our questions for today. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Thank you, Mary Frances, for uh, leading us through your practice this morning. I just want to share a few tips. Uh, if you can stay, that's great. If not, uh, we totally understand. You have a busy week ahead of you. Um, so, you know, we talk about the lower Dantian, and that's really our lower energy center. And Qigong is very much like building a house. You start with the foundation, then you build, you know, the structure and the walls, and then you build your roof. And that's what represents the three, we have three energy centers in Chinese medicine and then also in Qigong. So the lower energy center is where we start first. That represents more of our physical body. And then our middle energy center represents more of our mind and our emotions. And then the upper energy center, third eye, is more about the spiritual aspect of who we are. So we start at the, at the base level. We want to build the solid foundation first. This is why we work on the physical body, okay? Because if your physical body is sick, it doesn't really do a good job of housing your mind or your spirit. And that's why we start there first. So if you're coming in and you wanna, you know, calm your emotions and, and deal with spiritual aspects of your life, we always wanna start still with the, with the physical, okay? Because that helps ground you and provide a good container for everything else. And that's why we work on storing energy into the lower energy center as we practice this exercise. As we, as we do more advanced practices, then we work on the other energy centers. But always remember, you wanna have a solid foundation, especially for those of us who live in Southern California. You know, there's earthquakes, and if your house is on a shaky foundation, okay, it's kinda of like life when, when your life meets challenges. Uh, and so it's like an earthquake, like right now, right? Um, with this virus. So you have a lot of things that is gonna make things look, feel unstable. And so the more grounded, the more solid a foundation that you have, the easier you are to really come back to that center. So thank you very much. And I hope you have a rest, good rest of your day. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>